Hello, science students. Quite a few of you have asked for a few more examples on how to convert numbers within the metric system. So we're going to go ahead and look at that. So this is a quick video on how to convert between metric units. So why would we want to convert between units? Uh, a lot of times it's to compare things. So if two units don't match up, we want them to match so we can compare. Sometimes it's because it's an unreasonable measurement. We want to see it in a different unit. It could be that you're more comfortable in, say, centimeters than hectometers. So you're going to convert so that the number means more to you. So there's a lot of different reasons why we might do that. In this practice question, we're going to say, which is longer, 16 meters or 8.0 hectometers? So we could try to figure out the relationship between those and things like that. But typically what we're going to ask you to do is use the stair step chart or the sort of prefix list. So and the letters that go with that are K, H, D, base unit, lowercase d for deci, lowercase c for centi, and lowercase m for milli. So kilo, hecto, deca, base unit, deci, centi, milli. So now they're in order. Uh, sometimes, I don't use this one in class very much, but sometimes people... Uh, use the kind of memory trick, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. So if you need to remember that for some reason, you can remember it, but you can always go check your notes. So we can either convert from meters to hectometers or from um, to hectometers back to meters. Sorry, meters is right here in order to figure this out. Let's go ahead and just convert from meters to hectometers because meters was first. So meters is our base unit. So we're going to start right here. Hectometers is the unit we want to convert to so we can compare, and that's right here. And that means we need to move two jumps to the left. So what that really means is that hectometers are 100 times bigger than meters, so we need to divide by 100 to figure out the number of meters. But we're just going to move the decimal point the same way we move through this chart. So for 16, the decimal point is right there. We're going to move the decimal point twice to the left, 1, 2, and we get 0 0.16 hectometers, which means that the 8 hectometers is in fact larger, because 8 is bigger than 0 0.16. Okay, so that was a quick example. Let's look at one that's maybe a little more challenging. Uh, and you'll notice that we, we work our way around the numbers that are there first before we add any zeros. So let's go ahead and see one that goes in the other direction. So let's, let's say that we had a value of 10.5 uh, 0 0.06 decameters, and we need to convert that to decimeters. We can uh, we can reset and make our chart one more time. So we have kilo, hecto, deca, base unit, deci, centi, milli. In this case, we're going to start at deca, and we're going to go to deci, and we're going to go one, two steps to the right. So now, in class, sometimes people will say, oh, we just have to add the number of zeros by the number of jumps. Sometimes that is true, but you have to work around the numbers that are there first. So in this case, I've got 10.06, and we did two jumps to the right, one, two. I don't have to add any zeros because there are already numbers after the decimal point. And we end up with uh, 1,006 decimeters, okay, instead of... And just be really clear, that's a common on a decimal point uh, instead of the uh, 10.06 decameters. Okay, now, quick reminder, so this base unit doesn't have to be meters. It could be grams. It could be liters. Uh, it can be several other different units as well. Uh, we're mostly sticking with the mass, the length, and the volume at this point. Okay, if you have any more questions, make sure to email me, ask for help. Uh, hopefully, these two examples were helpful to you guys in figuring out how to convert between metric units.